one giant crust pizza. I know. I'm just, I'm back, I'm back home. Shooby doo, I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shooby doo, I'm home. Hello, and this is hot and stay May because we are eating pizza. This is my pizza mukbang, you guys. This is my first homemade pizza ever with the help of Orlin because I would have been fully doomed if this were up to me. Fully doomed. So, this is like amazing. It's like, it looks better than what you get in the store. And I have my nice, not the store, the restaurant. I have my nice Italian red cloth. And I'm wearing, a, I should button up to be more respectable, but I'm wearing a nice plaid shirt for this fine afternoon Italian food for you guys. And yes, I'm home. I'm back in my regular setting. And today's mukbang is obviously a pizza mukbang. And I want to show you step by step exactly how I made this because we made it with their own hands. I really hope you guys try this out because it's, well, first of all, I do want to say it's very time consuming. Give yourself a good hour at least to make this. But you know, if it's Saturday, if it's Sunday morning and you're lounging around or you, you get home from church and you're like, let's do something together as a family, why not make some pizza? Fresh ingredients, really delicious and healthy and filling. So. Without further ado, let me show you how to make my cheesy pepperoni pizza. Here we go, sloth cooking, sloth mittens, ah, yes. So, make sure the kitchen is nice and clean because you're gonna need a lot of space. Step number one, take one cup of lukewarm water and add one teaspoon of yeast to it. Add some sugar, stir it around, and let that sit until foaming. Step number two, take one and a half pounds of wheat flour and add it to a very large mixing bowl. We grab the most fortified brand because, well, health. Okay, so for us, that's about one and a half bags. Add some oil, we use a lot because, well, arteries. And add one tablespoon of salt, about one cup of water, and... Time out, my little sloths. This myziana, or whatever it is, is not yeast. Orlin thought it was yeast. It's actually used as like a, a thickener, kind of like plantain powder. And I looked at it, I'm like, because our thing's not bubbling. Our thing, it's supposed to get bubbly and thick, and it's not doing anything. We're gonna run to the store, well not run, it's gonna take a while to get there, but we're gonna go find yeast and come back and resume the recipe. Uh. Here is the yeast. Ah, by the way, we use this opportunity to fill up a produce shelf. Ah, look how beautiful it looks. Okay, so open the yeast, add one teaspoon to the, the warm water, like I said, add some sugar, stir it around, and once thick, add it to the mix. Incorporate all the ingredients like so. Make sure that the counter is clean enough because you're gonna need it. This is the fun part, you guys. It's time to knead the dough. This is also the time where you need to add more water or flour depending on how sticky it is. But once fully kneaded and not too sticky like ours was, put it into a large bowl and cover it and wait until risen. Okay, now we get to make the homemade cheese. So here we're taking soaked sesame seeds and almonds. Straight out the water, and if you want, you can take off the almond skin so it's nice and white, but ain't nobody got time for that. Now place it into the blender, grab some garlic, peel it, add it, get some extra virgin olive oil, add a lot because, well, arteries, and add just a drop of soy milk, put on the lid, and ah, this needs more water. So don't be afraid of adding water, you guys. I know it's gonna look runny, but it will evaporate once you cook it. So once blended, add it to a pan and add any kind of starch or thickener. Turn on the stove and stir it while cooking. Add one spoonful of salt and once thickened, turn it off and let it sit to the side. The Lord has risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. Okay, now add some flour to your countertop, flour up your spoon, and it's time to divide this very large lump into two extra large pizzas. Now, this portion is enough for at least three normal sized pizzas, so um, yeah, but we're dividing it into two because there's two of us, so add some flour to a pan and plastic wrap it for another 15 minutes or so, so that it rises just a little more. Now it's time for Orland's famous tomato sauce. You'll need tomatoes, 
obviously. Chop off the heads, chip, chop, chippy, chop, here we go. Divide them into fourths and add them to the blender. Now behead an onion, chip, chop, peel it, chop it, and add that as well. Smash, yes, this is the easiest way to open a garlic. Seriously, just try it. And of course, oh, yes, I dropped it. Now add the garlic and add lots of oregano powder. Add some saffron to give it nice color. Pop. Add some pepper, add a drop of vinegar. Blend it all up and add it to a pan, turn on the stove and uh, nearly damage the camera, yes. Ugh. Now add some thickener as you go. Now stir this around until nice and thick until the water's evaporated and set it aside like you did for the cheese. The final step is here, here we go. Let's put all the things together. So we're making the crust and the center bits. This is your time to be hashtag Italian and so you wanna stretch it out. Add oil and flour to the pizza pan and place that inside of it. Now we're also adding oil to the crust because, well, arteries. Now add the sauce, spread it around. Ugh, it looks so good. Now add the cheese. If you make this type of cheese, which I recommend you do, do it like so. Make little dots, connect those dots, and fill in those dots. Ugh, did that even make sense? I don't know. Anyways, just spread it around somehow. This is our pepperoni that's made from tofu and spices and meat flavorings. And yes, we're doing a taste test right now and it's so nice, oh my gosh. This is the finished product, you guys, and we added some olives. Turn on the oven, set it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and wait about 30 minutes for this to finish. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, so Orlin is sneakily sitting over there because he's like, I want to see you have your first bite. Come say, come say hi to the sloths. We're, we're, we're a, reuni a reunited family. So that's the recipe. And um, I haven't even had a single ounce. I, it could I, be really bad. It could be bad, it could be good, and you're about to find out with us. It could be really bad, like my haircut. Oh, or it could be good like his. <laughs> my haircut? <laughs> so this was our first What time. ruler did that lady use? This was our first time making a homemade pizza. Mm -hmm. You already told them that. Yes, day. I did. So I'm gonna cut the thing. I'll hold this up. Okay. It's still hot. Oh! It's that was hot. more of a pinch, yeah. Ooh, that Ooh looks the good. steam, the cheese. This looks really oh good. my gosh. So it's nice to be home. Those are big slices, honey. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> Most people have like, how many? 12 okay. slices for pizza? Yeah, maybe I should have. Okay. Well, hold on. Yeah, 10 slices. <laughs> Is this going to cut the pan? Yeah. Are know. you supposed to cut it in the pan? I think you're supposed to. Well, this pan's made of metal. Oh, oops. Got full of stuff. Okay, this is really exciting. I'm so hungry. This Ooh. is gonna. Ooh. It looks pretty well made. <gasps> Ooh, it's mm. smoking. It's steaming. Ooh. That, oh, that cheese is so. Is it good? Cheesy. All right. Mmm. It's good. Here, you hold it up like right here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right there. And I'm gonna show me breaking it to see if it like. It didn't even go through. Yes, it did. Oh. No, it didn't. Uh, yes, it did, and it fell apart. <laughs> it went, oh, oh, okay, we're just gonna put, the, put this back down here. Here's my pizza, y'all. Oh. I'm gonna cut out a slice while mm -hmm. you do It's this. still steaming. I'm gonna take it. Why am I sweating? I think, you know, I was a little nervous picking up that violin. I haven't touched, well, the shadows. I haven't touched it for at least a year. And when I did touch it a year ago, it was for a day and then Another year before that. I haven't played for so many years, but it's kind of like riding a bicycle. It's a little awkward at first, but once you get back into things, the muscle memory, you can't undo that. It's like forgetting a language. Yeah. I guess I forgot English because some, I don't really know what I'm saying sometimes. <sighs> okay, so what do we do wrong? I think he made the, the bottom part too thin. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted and, to the and the crust was too thick, so make your pizza more even. First time we make this. This is, you know, he did such a good job. Like, <laughs> I could have never. It's a crust pizza. I'll, I'll scoot over so you can come in because you want to see me try my first. There we go. All right. It kind of look. It kind of looks like feta cheese. So this is gonna be my first. You should blow on it. <laughs> oh. Is it good? Mmm. Is it really good? I feel like I'm at a restaurant. Is it better than the Papa John's? Yes, it is. <gasps> that Papa John's pizza, you guys, a couple months ago, it was twice as big, full of veggies. It was very good, but what is a pizza without cheese? Get with the times, Papa John's. We can get some soy cheese or some almond cheese or some any kind of cheese. 
I want to try. Oh, the lactose intolerance out there. Oh, no, how about you have like... He's a... gonna give me the crust. No, here, I'll put some... This is very messy. Look at well, this. Oh my god, it's just so good. <gasps> oh my god, let's show the sloths. We should sell this. Oh my gosh. It's just a pizzeria. The okay. crust pizza. Eh, okay. Are you gonna take? You take. I don't know. I, ah, it's gonna fall. It's hot. Mmm. I know. People think I exaggerate my ooms. No, here's the thing. I'm just always hungry. This tastes better than that Little Caesars pizza we had. Oh, yeah. Because it actually has cheese. You need thick cheese. And the crust is on point. Here. Is it me or is it hot? I, you can see the... Maybe it's mm. this. I know this is very, very good. The crust is so good. I thought I, I actually made a very thick crust. This is, mm. don't, for, don't forget to blow. Don't forget to dip the crust. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's very hot. Crust dip. Oh, what? show the sloths. It's guacamole with leftover pizza sauce and bread. And I have food in my mouth. Oops, I've... <sighs> what did you spill? <laughs> Eat everything, Orlin. All the time. Oh, oh breadcrumbs. Yeah, and then here is fried sausage with breadcrumbs. Okay, you can kind of see with the lighting. Mm. Crust with sauce. Isn't it good? It's it very is, good. but mm. that pizza is so good. It's like, it's more like a, a nacho crust pizza dip mm. thing. <laughs> I like that the crust is so big though. It tastes so good. This is so good. And it's airy. It's I, I have so much stories for you today, but let me just... Two more minutes of this and... Mm. Yeah, two more minutes. Mm. Comment down below and let us know what you're eating with us. Okay, so Orlin went down to... Orlin is making his very own pizza, so he's gonna be joining me. You know, reunion time in the fam- The birds? Okay, I have so much to fill you guys in on. Ah, uh, so I haven't actually made a mukbang here for days. For days! And this is because I arrived with lots of mukbangs backed up. Because uh, when I travel, I don't- Oh! When I travel, I don't like to feel stressed. And traveling is already very stressful for me. So, I want to come home and relax for a day or two, but I don't want to like miss out on mukbangs. And you guys know, if you've been paying attention, I missed out on two days. So, anyways, I had the, the, the Chipotle and the Wendy's. I did that the same day. And then the Subway and the another one on the sa same day. So, two on each day so that I have four, you know, two days here, extra break. So, but I haven't, you know, mm, been doing mukbangs, so. Mmm. What? Camera died. <clears throat> I can't wait till I have more money and maybe I'll invest in a better camera that doesn't shut off all the time. But, um, so I'm back home. That's really mm, all I have to say. I'm back home. Mmm. And I do have napkins. When I arrived, Noodle, well, you guys know he was like listening to me on the phone and speaking to me through the speakerphone when I was at the farm. And when I came back home, oh, he just started talking. He got all puffy. His eyes were pinning or like dilating. That means he's, he's thinking. He is. So he was very, very happy to see me. Oh, oh you happy to see me? Hello. Look how puffy he's getting. He likes you. He missed me so much. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, he was so adorable. Yes, he was. He was so cute. He was so nice and so happy to see me. And, you know, it just felt, it was like seeing my child. I'm so attached to Noodle now. And Roberto as well. <laughs> he's like, you know, parents, be honest. Be honest right now. Some children are ranked a little higher than the other. You can say they are all equally important. Yes, they're all equally loved. But if you had to choose, you could choose. Like, there are some children you resonate more with. Some turn out to be more like you. Some turn out to be the black sheep. Bah! Off you go. Some up. Oh, that was me. Uh, some, of, some of your children just uh, have a lot of issues. No matter how well the nurture is, the nature, you cannot fix. 
as parents, I'm not a parent, but having Roberto and Noodle, there's, there's one I miss a little more, you know, and you don't want to admit it in your heart. I could be wrong. Please comment down below. Let me know. Any parents out there watching this, maybe you're eating with your family. Oh, if you're eating with your children, don't say anything. Don't let them see what you type. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. This here is garlic sauce. And it's actually made for cooking. At least I think so. Pasta, pasta, paste. I don't know Spanish. Well, it's just garlic. So we thought dipping the crust into it. Oh, but this is just so good. So I have my phone here. And I have, I have some notes because I want to stay on task. Because I have some things to talk to you about. Oh, so, what, one of the first days when I got here, I need a... This is just... But you guys, the flavor is popping. The flavor be rocking, popping. Oh. Scoundrels. Little nuts. Mmm. So it might look really messy, but it's so delicious. So, my sloths. Like, the first day I got here, I was laying in bed with Orlin. And this is at nighttime, right? And I'm just like, I am so tired. I had to detox. I use that word very loosely because I hate saying it now because it's such pseudoscience. Uh, I had to recover. There you go. Let your body just to get back to normality. Normalcy. Because I was eating a lot of junk. As you guys did not hesitate to remind me of. That is fried. You saw my Chipotle muck bar. That literally. <clears throat> so many comments. Delete. Delete. Oh, you went to spam. You'll stay there. I was like, ugh. some of them were so mean. Some of the, the nice ones I left out that were just kind of concerning. But anyways, I had to like, you know, get back to the rice and the bean, you know, like whole pro, like whole healthy protein, beans and lentil soup, lots of rice. <clears throat> Excuse me, lots of rice, steamed vegetables, a little fruit, but not that much. So I only bring this up because this kind of goes with the story, laying in bed at like, 6 p.m. like an old granny. Oh, it's time for bed. And, like, I was exhausted, mentally, physically exhausted, eating these good foods to and eat healthier again. It actually hurt to eat healthier. I don't, I can't explain why. So I'm laying there and I had to do something very, very, very important the next morning. And it came with instructions and it was, it wasn't cheap. So I'm not going to tell you what it was, but um, I had to do something important that had instructions. And this thing required you not to eat, not to drink water, not to brush your teeth at least 30 minutes prior till you do the do the thing on the box. So I, so and so I'm like, oh, when do I ever go at least 30 minutes without water, without vitamins, without everything? And Orland's like, well, first thing in the morning. And I'm like, yeah, but I usually chug at least a gallon of water. What are you talking about? <gasps> not really, maybe at least a liter. And he's like, well, you're gonna have to do this before you know you eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I had to follow the instructions, and so this is what Orland said, I'm, I'm reading verbatim. Can you even read without having breakfast? That's what he said to me, and you know, it sounds mean, but it was actually really funny. And it's so true. It's actually very true. And I actually had to sit back and think, could I follow directions without eating something beforehand? I don't know. Yeah, excuse me, that's... That's how severe my case is of fast metabolism. Ah, you know, as you heard from the Chipotle mukbang. All that riding around. You know, I got my first bike, as you guys know. And I ride that every other day for like 15, 20, like 20 minutes, I would say. 20 minutes. No more than like 40 minutes. Ever, ever. I can't. And I don't want to. Then I start like storing water because my body's stressed. I actually look fatter than before. Don't overdo it, you guys. So anyways, I, I succeeded. And I followed the instructions with this mysterious thing that I can't tell you. Before having breakfast. But then, and then I was like, ah, oh, food. I need food. So that's number one on my list. My little sloths. Sloth fam, my family, family, or...
Mm. This is just so good. Let me try the fried, fried sausage. Now these sausage, they taste legit. Here's the sausage. I don't even know all the ingredients. It's probably soy based, but lots of vegetables and a certain spice that, oh, oh. It's like German sausage. Wow. Mmm. You know, I took German in middle school and high school. You guys know. And then remember, don't want to stereotype. Nadia. Nad no, not Nadia. Nadia. I say her name wrong. Nadia, you know my friend. She's German. And she's like, because I said, oh, aren't they known for style? And she was like, nope, no, they're not. And I always thought they were obsessed with sausage and beer and like aprons. I don't, that's how I imagine Germany. Yo, -oi, ho, 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 having the bit clunk, clunk, clunk at the bars, the beer splashed everywhere in those beer cans and they're wearing their overalls and their panty hoops and their aprons and they're just eating down the sausage. That's how I imagine Germany. Oh, and Heidi Klum. They're also fashionable when they're not doing that. I could be further from the truth, couldn't I? My German friends. It's okay. It's okay. I can only imagine what you think of stereotypical America. Probably not very nice. And I, I can understand that. Oh, I ripped the napkin. Mmm. So delicious. Mm. It looks like the real thing, doesn't it? Obviously not when it breaks apart and everything. <sighs> it is hot. I'm gonna, you know what else is hot? My, my facial hair. What do you think? Do I look like a lumberjack? You're very hot. Oh, perfect timing. I just, What's this? Oh, stir fried. Is this your pizza? It's pot roast. Oh, pot roast? I think that's what you would call it. Oh, Orlin, trying to be American. Is that an American? It's very hot. Oh, no. Pot roast. Pot roast. Pot roast. Yaray. Yaray. I am the next American Idol. Mm. I must have just gone in circles because at the top of my list, it says I was talking about the birdies and then how I came came home and they were touching, they were snuggling, you know, Orlin sent me a photo and I did, I was like, what? They're touching because they, they are not amigos, no. But at nighttime, <coughs> excuse me, they snuggle up and puff up, even though Noodle, well, beep, beep, baptize Roberto, there goes a the motorcycle, baptize Roberto, so they're not really amigos, but at nighttime, I think our theory is that they, they like to snuggle up and keep warm, even though it's not like that cold, but... There's Orlin's pizza. My vegetable pizza. Oh, sorry. So yeah, I, that came before the Freely and Ness thing, so my head must have been all over the place. What do you think? Ooh, that's oil. Look at that oil. What do you think? Oh, the oil's dripping. Is it dripping? Yeah, it's not focused. Yeah, the oil, well, it's okay. It dripped into the German, the German schnickels. What are they, what are they called? Schnoozles, schnauzers. That's Schneider Schneider Schnickels. Schneider and Schneiders. Schnickers. How do you say sausage? I thought it was like Schnicker Schnicker. It's quite Schnickers. Okay. Look at this beautiful pizza. Look at this. Ouch! It's hot. Oh, look at that. It smells much better than yours. It does because the peppers. Mm -hmm. the, what's that hairy stuff? It's artichoke flowers. You put the flowers of the art, you roasted the art. Of course, the whole art is Are you gonna, flower. are you gonna eat, oh. <laughs> of course, he would know. Are you gonna eat all that? Um, yes, I will. Oh, here, I'll oh. scoot over so you have room. How's your pizza? Very good, you can have more of mine, if you want. I just want the whole crust. Mmm. You eat very fully. Well, I talk a lot. <laughs> Oops. Mmm. Mmm, I know. Pizza's very good. Mm -hmm. I'm never buying bread again. I'm just gonna bake it. Make your own. We can make our own bread. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! I was telling I was telling you about mm -hmm. Alexis, your friend. Yes. So 
<clears throat> YouTube is an interesting job because, you know, you have the, the people that like you, the people that hate you, you have the, the trolls, you have the haters that are just waiting for your next video so they can boop, thumb, thumbs down it just to try to make you upset. I swear, I have so many people that must, I post a video in an hour and it already has like 30 or 40 thumbs down. So I'm like, wow, who sits there and hates me so much that they just want to push the thumbs down, you know? So, you, you know, I have to deal with that every day. All the, you know, buy it. YouTube is also a really cool thing because obviously it can bring you together to people. It can, you know, teach you stuff. You know, YouTube's for education and entertainment, so. Anyways, long story short, I got a comment from, it just says Alexis. No photo, no last name. And I'm like, oh, that could be anyone. Half the people on YouTube, you don't even know who they are. And, but she said something that like only certain someone would, I don't know, she was just like, oh my gosh, I miss you. I'll, I'll put the thing right here. As you can see, she's like, I miss you. And this, you know, watching your mukbang reminds me of our younger times or old, the olden days goofing around. And she says, let me know when you're in town to visit. I'm like, is this the Alexis that I just talked about in my muk a couple mukbangs ago? The one from high school? So I commented back and I'm like, is this Alexis from Lower Dolphin? Because that's the high school I went to. Or Alexis B. I don't want to say her last name for privacy reasons. I mean, she clearly didn't have a face. She's faceless right now. So let's keep it that way. And I'm just like, oh. Orland's like, well, did you say anything good or bad about her in your walk by? I'm like, I know. <gasps> Show. I should watch what I say because one of you sloths could come around to the mukbang. And I could be saying it like I'm upset by you or you did this. And see, this is why I try to just talk about the good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Alexis is so fun. Alexis, if you're watching this. Remember JoJo's Pizza? Remember going to JoJo's? Now we I, have Orleans Pizza. Now we have Orleans Pizza. Jojo's Pizza, Orleans Pizza. <sighs> this is very filling because he used like this much nuts. Like, oh my god. A lot. A lot of nuts. Mmm! Mine is so much better than yours. Yeah. You have to try this. So hello Alexis. And hello to all my lost old friends that are lost. And now you're found. Lost and found. My That's like a Bible verse. I was lost, but I am now found through God. <laughs> so, you're right. See, this would be a really good restaurant pizza. I like it. Mmm. It's good, isn't it? Mmm. We can share it. The oregano? Everything's nice. Everything. Orlin, mm. you spoil me. I'm so spoiled with Orlin. I really am. I'm spoiled with you because I get to eat all this food. <laughs> I know. No diets around me. It's just too hard, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's very hard. <laughs> Look at this cross. Oh, oh. Basically bread. Mm. Now, Orlin, we have to use napkins because the, the sloths don't like how sloppy we are. Like a little bit of sloth is okay. <laughs> well, they tell you like a four-year-old. Somebody said he's They like say a I'm sloppy. <laughs> mm. See, see, that's what I'm saying. The hate comments, we, we see all of them. But then you find people like Alexis, so it's so cool. You yeah. know, Alexis, like I was saying, she reminds me of Nadia. Fun, very pretty, um, friendly, kind. Even the people she didn't like, she wasn't like a, she wasn't nasty. She was just very, because you know, Alexis was on the cheerleading team. But she was friends with a lot of the losers like me. Well, were you in band? The band geeks, you know. You know, because in the cheerleading team, everyone, most of them, most of, the, most of those females are popular. They're the popular cliques, and they, they go to the, the best parties, they get invited. But, and they were also a little mean, and on the verge of, excuse me, being catty. But Alexis wasn't like that, and she didn't want to be mean. And a lot of the girls then on her team, or I don't know the details, but I just know some, some of the popular people turned on her because she wasn't mean like them. And she's friends with, oh, you're friends with him? Ew. So, you know, I... I really, re I respected that in Alexis to be friends with me no matter how much people made fun of me. Oh, that the little gay boy. Oh, the, the, the band geek. geek. Nick uh, the fairy. Shh, oh, I know. He's, it was terrible. So she still stayed my friend through all that. So that says a lot about her, doesn't it? Mm. I'm obsessed with this pizza fries. It's very good. Mm -hmm. It's just very, very filling. I mean, I could eat that whole... Papa John's pizza, but half of this I'm starting to get full. I think it's because of the, the nuts, like, whew. Mm. Mm. Probably 400 calories a slice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven slices. Four times seven is 
2,800 calories. I'm never going out to buy pizza though. I can just make myself. Mm. Mm. So worth it. Very good. Mm. Very nice. <clears throat> so Orlin told me that he got the nightmares. Oh, I got sleep paralysis while he was gone. He was only gone for five days. Yeah, but every single night he said he got it bad. He oh, yeah. got the haunted. Tell him about the. Tell him anything you told me, which I thought was freaky. But I have to chew. Oh, sorry. If you, I'll let you chew. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch our Halloween mukbang and Orland opens up about being haunted, and the devil's coming after him, like having his feet pulled at night and like seeing the white light. Like Orland is legit haunted, and I'm coming out with a book, a, a, a book, a book. <laughs> My life with a haunted sloth. Well, so while he was gone for five days, I was haunted. I, I mean, I got sleep paralysis. I don't know, would you call it being haunted? Yeah, that's being haunted. I got sleep paralysis each night. And you know, I'm used to that, but when he's around, I don't get it as much. So usually- You've never gotten it with me. I did get it one time you were in the other room. If I'm not in the room with you, but he's never gotten yeah. when I'm sleeping next to him in bed. Cause I'm so scary that the, even this, the spirits don't come after me. It scares them away. Yeah, that's what we say. I scare them away. They're not going to mess with me. <laughs> so yeah, I felt very scared. Like I was, I would, I would be sleeping and then I would suddenly wake up. And I could find myself, I found myself unable to move. And I could move my eyes and I would see dark creatures to my sides, like shadow people. It would just be all around me and it was very freaky. Nick has seen this too, he's seen this in the kitchen, but every day that I was alone and I would go downstairs to the kitchen, <clears throat> the the big butcher knife that I use for recipes. Well, but you saw today's recipe, chop. Yeah, it moves around on its own. Because it sits on this little hanger, you know, you have your, your wooden spoon and your spatula yeah. and your soup spoon, well, you have the knife there as well. It just moved around on its own and it was the freakiest thing. I was talking on the phone with my friend Gary and I'm like, um, the knife is moving and it's so, and I'm so haunted. <laughs> you were sitting in the kitchen probably? Or? I was like, talking in the kitchen because the Wi-Fi is good there. Oh. So, Hi, yeah. Carrie, if you're watching. Check Hello. out Carrie, she's vegan mukbang. Vegan mukbang. I talk about her here and there, but I need to have an official link to her channel. So if you guys want to watch more mukbangs, and if I'm taking a break, or watch me, watch her. So I'm going to have a link to her channel in the description box. So please check her out. Um, yeah, so anyways, I... I would talk to her and I would tell her about my sleep paralysis and about the... I would hear... Uh, I would also hear weird noises when I would be on the third floor. I would hear like steps and I would hear like things falling on the first floor and there's no way I would go see what fell. I didn't feel like going down to see what I felt, but I would like feel like falling things and hear them. It's just very weird. Very haunted. And sometimes I go down and I notice that things have moved slightly and I don't know if it's I just forgot that I moved them or if they moved on their own or I don't know it's just it's just not fun being haunted <laughs> <laughs> it's okay I'm here they don't yeah. mess they never mess with me ever looking at my notes I'm like a, a granny Christian Chenoweth <gasps> so Christian Chenoweth is like a world renowned Opera, well, no, not opera, Broadway singer. But she also does like jazz. She just came out with a new album. And, you know, I was w looking at the news and I saw her perform live a song, an old Gershwin song, I think. And it was so good. And yeah, that's the story in the end. <laughs> I love her voice though. Christian Chenoweth, how do you guys know her? It's very nasally, but. I, I, ha. <laughs> Nick likes a lot of opera music. That's not opera though. I mean, imagine if you paid 200 bucks for a nice seat at the opera and you heard me screeching. Yeah, you would walk out like the Philadelphia Orchestra just walked out. Ah, uh, yeah. I remember that. The birds touched each other at night. Noodle and, like I already said, they, they touch each other at nighttime. Okay, you guys, I have a question for all my sloths. I would love to invest in a microphone. And I'm thinking about getting the road mic, which is like standard. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You know, it's standard for YouTube. It's just a good quality mic. Excuse me. And a lot of YouTubers have it. And I want to know, those of you that have a road mic or 
Yeah, I, I'm curious about this one in particular. When you edit, do you have to attach the audio and line it up with oh. the image? And, you know, if you make a cut in the image, then you have to make a cut in the audio. Because I've used a microphone before. I have a microphone. That's what I did my voiceover today for the recipe. And, um, oh, it's hours, hours lining it up. And that microphone I, I used, Zoom H1, the levels change. The, the, the intervals, like, it'll be really soft and really loud, and then really soft and really, and my, I'm, it's still right here in front of my face. So I, hopefully the Rode mic's not like that. It better not be if it's that expensive. It's, it's an expensive mic. And I want to know while editing, does it sync it automatically to the image so it's just one file to work with? Or do you have to line it up with the image and play that whole game? Because then, wow, that would... My mukbangs already take many hours to put together, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that times two every day. Whew. You'll be married to the computer. Yeah. I would never see you. <laughs> <laughs> just hide, hide in the corner and edit. Mm -hmm. So please help me out and comment down below. Mm. I know, look. It's good. We're getting through. This is all filling. The Veteric. Verdict? How do you say Veteric? Verdict? Verdict? The Veredict. Better. Veredict. I'm the one that can't say stuff. Wait, the Veredict. Verdict. 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 The Verdict. Wait, no, Verdict. See, I don't know. Verdict. Ver no, Verdict. The Verdict. Dick, 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 dick. I don't. The conclusion is I don't like artichokes. Yeah? Let me no, try a piece. I'll help you clean them. I haven't had a. Is this it? No. I haven't had a. Wait, are you supposed to eat the skin? That's what I use. Well, if I die, you know why. It's very gross. I think you're supposed to peel the skin. It's very chewy. And there's literally nothing to it. It's just a bunch of scales. I think you're supposed to... Do they peel? Help us. Well, this is the inside of the artichoke. Um, no. I like the way artichoke... Like, artichoke... Artichoke French onion dip that you dip your chips into. Ooh, what else is good with like artichoke? Look at dips. I think of dips when I think of artichokes. I think of Thanksgiving hummus. Hummus, hummus mm. and artichoke. Oh, artichoke hummus is good. Oh, we used to get that at Walmart. Mm, so good. They must process the crap out of that. <clears throat> it don't taste very good when you cook it. At least when I cook it. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe maybe it needs to be boiled. I think you know we're still learning. We're learning how to make pizza crust. We're learning how to. Mm-hmm. Mm. This pizza is definitely too thick. <laughs> I am so full. I think this is going to be my last slice. It's okay, we have dinner now. This is my, my lunch. Mmm. It's very filling. And yours doesn't have, like, cheese and stuff. Yeah. Do you have seeds or nuts? I have Brazil nuts. Oh. Did you put them whole in there? No, I, I uh, pulverized them. Oh. There's birds nesting in our house and we hear them. Listen. <laughs> they stopped. Oh, I heard a, a ding. Well... In our Halloween mukbang, we started hearing that, and we did. We went outside and checked, and we see that it's birds, right at the very top. Mm -hmm. But that freaked us out. We thought that we thought that ghosts were saying hello. They found me. Ah, they're they're reminding us that they are here during the daytime. <laughs> mm. So at this time, I would love to give a little shout out to some people, and you know, hashtag sloth of the week or super sloth. I don't know what to call this, but just, you know, thanking, thanking my subscribers. I try to do this once a week. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I do, well, since I was on my little tour in the United States and I'm home, I'm just in a, a loving mood. And it, instead of just saying like one person, I want to read a bunch of y'all's names. And just thank you for like always leaving comments. So the first one is Abe, Abe, Abe Olivares, Olivares, Abe Olivares. Olivares. And I put in parentheses, boy. I put, no, not, not just because of you. And for all of them, I'm just like, girl, purple hair, boy, mm -hmm. you know, just so I know. Me and names are really Memory bad. Time. Remember Ashquaf Ushawaf? Her name was Aksa, and I pronounced it Ashqua. Uh, that reminds me of that girl in my school that was named Ladasha. Ladasha? Her name was L-A, and then a, a dash, and it was La Dasha. You pronounced the dash as a sha? La, I mean dash? Ladasha. Ladasha. 
And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. She was in my AP calculus class. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like using the plus sign and saying my name is plus Suberus. Nico plus. <laughs> With a plus Suberus. Wow, that, I mean, that's... No one will forget her, will they? La Russia, <laughs> never. Okay, Melody P. Hello, thank you so much for the support. Oh, and Abe, thank you for always leaving comments. Danny Haninium, 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 thank you. Sushi, mm -hmm. Sushin, Sushi, Sushin Satori. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you <laughs> for the support and all the comments. Amy S, girl with the purple hair. The image, see, I'm an image person. Remember the girl with the red shirt? Police, as I said. Stephanie, Amy, Stephanie Police, well, Amy S, I know you're the girl with the purple hair. If that's even you, it could be some, it could just be an image. A lot of people just get random images for their, okay, Kylie Crucifixion. Is that right? Crucifixion? You're kidding. Right? Kylie Crucifixion. Crucifixion. Kylie Crucifixion, thank you so much for your support and always leaving your comments. And last but not least, I see this girl often. Natalie Kitchener. Kitchener. Natalie Kitchener. Kitchener. Natalie Kitchener. So thank you, my super sloths. My sloths. Thank, thank you. I, excuse me. I appreciate your time and your comments. So the comments mean a lot. Mm. Oh, so, so much blood. Well, we know what we're having for lunch. Yeah, well, it is lunch. What time is it? Oh, I mean dinner. Yeah, it's 2 p.m. right now. This is very filling. We went a little overboard. I mean, oh, mm -hmm. the stomach is the size of your fist, they say, right? No, the it heart. Depends on who you ask, because it does stretch. Mine's a toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> There's something bit bit squeezing into the... Wow. Mm. I do amaze myself. I remember fast forwarding in the Chipotle mukbang when I was editing, and I showed my pizza from Chipapa John's, and watching the whole thing just vacuum up, I'm like, whoa. It's amazing. And here I am complaining because I over-exercised because I did an extra hour than I'm used to. I'm chewing the artichoke. She's chewing it a lot. Say it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry about the artichoke. But it has a lot of fiber. Ew. <laughs> Ew. See, no. This is no. Well, you, how about you have another piece of mine? The cheese. No, I love it, it also has the pepperoni. Pepperoni. If it, oh. And it has olives too. You guys see the olives? Nice try. <sighs> well, I know what I could do. I could put my crust into the cheese. Mm, there we go. Like that. Mm. There we go. Same pizza. Don't forget your. Mm, I have to try this. Your pot roast. Okay. You have to try it too. Okay, I will. Try it. Me first? Mm hmm. Ladies first. Top. What part do I eat? This part. This part? Mm hmm But do I get some of the sauce underneath? It already has some. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. It looks like airplane food. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, I loved... Well, this is baked, but... Baked? Cauliflower. Steamed cauliflower, steamed broccoli, steamed carrots. I made the best concoction yesterday. Remember, I told you trying to get back to the healthy foods. Mm, very good. What, tell them what I had yesterday. It was purple carrots, ujukos. Those things I don't like, but they're healthy. Purple carrots, ujukos, potatoes. No, no, no those brown turds. Oh. Mm -hmm. The seeds? What are they called? See, we don't even know. <clears throat> this exotic looking plant. Put that in there. I put papa criollo, you know, the yellow potatoes. I put the big potatoes. I put onions. I put broccoli. Um, yeah, broccoli and cauliflower and peppers. So this is the veggies. I did it called juju fruta. Juju frutas. Something like that. And a bowl of rice, white rice, with a little bit of oil. Put some oil, put some sugar, put some salt. Oh, so and the rice turned pink from the purple carrots. And the ojucos, oh, so <laughs> healthy, so, so good. Why did I bring that up? Oh. Because this is very healthy. Because this is healthy. It tastes healthy. It tastes because you put sprouts on top. Mm -hmm. Well, you nuke them sprouts. Do they kind of them sprouts ain't alive no more. <gasps> they got a little crispy, a little burn. So <laughs> this tastes good actually. Mm. 
It's very hearty. Hearty. How do how do meals get that? How do meals get that label? Hearty. Hearty don't. Because what when I think of hearty meals, I associate the flavors with broccoli, and carrots. Because are are these good foods for your heart? But no one lives off just broccoli and carrots. Yet they have to be add additions to your staples, which are not broccoli and carrots. <laughs> Oh, it's very good. Yes, how hearty. Today, oh, <clears throat> we bought extra virgin olive oil. We did. Oh, you want to try the sausages, have you? I did. It's, oh, what, what do they call The type of flavor? Chorizo. Chorizo. Is that an American thing? No. It's a South American thing. Oh, chorizo. German schnitzels. That's what they remind me of. Mm. So, yes, the olive oil. This was our, so random, right? We went to the store, and I'm like, well, the sloths in the comments are saying to, you know, cool it with the, the vegetable oil and to do heart healthy oil, like olive oil, cold pressed three times, extra, extra virgin. But Which is like three times the price of yes, the oil. Yes, they feel like it's a marketing thing, but they say the omega sixes are not as high, and the omega threes are higher, and that won't kill you, so I don't know. And I'm like, Orlin, like, what, you know everything, so you tell me. He's like, honestly, I don't even know. I, Cause he's like, I never eat oil, so. <laughs> So we got extra virgin, a virgin olive oil. Please educate the sloths. Edu tell us, you know, because I'm not going oil, oil free anytime soon. So please tell me which one. If I had to choose one, which one's the best? I think coconut oil. Yeah, that's what Ron said. My friend in New How Jersey. How would you get that here? That's the thing. There's a lot of things you can't get here, and when you can, they're expensive. Yep. You did a really good job. Mm -hmm. That cookbook, everyone's waiting. All the sloths are waiting. No. Including me. They want crust pizza? They, How to make crust pizza by Orlin. <laughs> by, by the two sloths. <laughs> Sloth cooking. Mm. Oh my gosh, so Paula Dean, I was watching her YouTube channel. I, I just love listening to her speak, and I just feel like so she's charismatic, and you watch her she, could, she could stab five people, and I would still watch. You know, there's people out there, it's like, sometimes they make a mistake, and you're like, oh, I'm never going to watch them again. But you know, that's actually rare. If, if you enjoy them, or it's like, she's made like how many people mistake. still talk about Hillary Clinton? Oh, I don't want to uh. get into politics. But I'm saying, the people that like her will like her no matter what she does. So I'm like, Paula Dean, you know, she made, she made a few mistakes. But I still love watching her. And anyways, <laughs> she put out a video called My Tips for Frying, which I think we need to watch together. Did you actually watch it? Yeah. And so what I'm like, said? well, I forget, so that's why. <laughs> My memory, I don't, I don't remember stuff. Is she teaching people how to fry? Because I've seen her fry. She fry. She fries a whole turkey in one video. She's this big French fry fryer. She just puts the whole thing in. Boop. But um, no, it was like her frying tips. I'm still like shocked remembering the turkey thing. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. She's too much. I would love to do a mukbang with Paula. It would have to be, it would need to have a lot of butter. Well, we, we would use plant-based butter. I don't think she would mind a day, you know. I, I, I just think... Or you could cook for us. You could cook for me and Paula. Mukbang with Paula. That's uh, that's the title. Mukbang with Paula. Oh my gosh, that would just be so much fun. How many of you can just envision this with me? Oh, we have to prepare our arteries for her visit. Well, apparently I already am after everything I ate last week. So apparently, mm. I'm right up there. Mm. This pizza is so good. They're just mm. so filling. I know. But you know what? That's how pizza should be. It should fill you up. Right? I sh you should. We shouldn't have to go to a place and order veggie pizza and not nah, have to say That's why Papa John. My English. That's why Papa John's. They need to come out with a, a better cheese. A lot of you guys say you drink water for me while watching me. People eat. are very concerned about him not drinking water. Trust me. I, I am too. I always say you should drink juice after drink, after eating food. Orlin, I drink more water than anyone I've but ever like met. But like after eating. I do in between meals no, and before no. the meals. Like when I just eating. don't do it together, which looks strange. But, that's, but trust me, you need that dude to drink water. I could sip sip on it a little yeah. bit. Oh, there's that. Is it? Only where we live do people ride around on little tractors and socks for sale and play these Mexican cha 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 music. <laughs> 
socks for sale, pots. You can walk down the street and buy like, what's crazy that you could buy on the street? Here? You can buy anything on the streets here. Food coma time. Oh, oh no! My, oh. I, just, I just got these pants. <laughs> You mean you just got them out of the wash? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I looked at them, I'm like, you did not just get those. <laughs> this shirt, by the way, because, you know, I went back to Florida and I was bringing old clothes that I left at his mom's house. This is from college. You know, Alexis from high school found me. Any people from college found me? Comment down below and be like, hey, I remember you from Catholic U. I used to wear this going out to town, going out to the club, all in class, and I loved keeping it really unbuttoned. <laughs> and I used to wear my boots and these tight skinny jeans. Did you have cowboy boots? They weren't cowboy boots, they were just like, le but actually they weren't even real leather. They're rain boots, technically, rubber. That's the thing, they were rubber rain boots. And pants and like, I just, oh, I loved getting ready to just, you know, cause all eyes on you when you're at school, everyone looks. Yeah. Here, it's like, oh, I'll wear the same shorts three days in a row. I won't shower for three days, and I'm sorry I'll stop there. Uh, <laughs> I shower every day. Oh, I know. Well, see, I don't want to dry my skin out. That's why. No. I think I wash my hair. because I'm lazy. I think I wash my hair too much. Mm. I take too much water or soap on your hair. Wow, our posture. We were both like, oh, we were so productive. We cleaned the house. Um... It was nice, you know, you get in a mood where it's like, oh, why don't you clean? Well, why don't you clean? You know, husband and wife nitpicking. My, my family was that way, uh, not so much, they honestly didn't really care if the house was clean, but when it came down to the last straw, like, okay, I literally can't open the door to my bedroom anymore. Now we should move some boxes. Yeah, may, maybe now we should do laundry. That's when it's like the, the last straw, then they clean. Sometimes with the argue about it, like, we have a vacuum since Christmas. Yes, well, that was seven months ago. Well, if it concerns you, you should do it. Well, if you're so bothered by it, why don't you do it? You should have done it five months ago. So our rugs want to get vacuumed for like, like once a year. So sometimes you can get in those ways where you're kind of just like, it piles up and it's just too overwhelming and depressing. You're like, I'm just going to accept how it is. And that's kind of what happened to up, you know, moving in here and everything. But the last two days, you know, thank, you know, it's a nice that I didn't have the mukbang because I could really just get the stuff together. And we cleaned, we swept, we organized, our bedroom's beautiful, our office room, we call it the office because that's where we keep our computers. It's cleaned and Mr. Noodle and Roberto have a new house. <laughs> Eating away, that's, it's okay, that's what you did half this time. I was, yeah, I, wait, no, the opposite, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the house is clean. It just feels so nice. And we decorated the living room with these fake plastic flowers. And that might sound really cheesy, but oh, is it beautiful. At the end of this mukbang, I'll give you a little, I'll, I'll give you a little sneak peek. You kind of saw a little bit when we were in the kitchen, but I'll give you a five second peek, all right? <laughs> so, you know, it just feel, feels nice to, to get all that stuff done because sometimes they say your house is a reflection of your mind. And they also say, a clean house is a sign of a way to Oh yeah, well that's what my mom says. But no, I no, and I told her that. I'm like, well sometimes it reflects how you feel. You know, if you're really down and depressed, you might leave trash on the floor. If you're really like happy and like productive and like, I'm work, 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 workaholic. You might still leave trash on the floor. Oh, Cause you're so busy working, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this works, please. You know what I mean though. So I just, I feel so much mentally more at peace. Peace has been restored to my mind now that I can see the floor and we got the stuff to move around, so. Well, don't over, baby, don't, don't shove it in. The, the sloths will keep eating if they're gonna eat. We don't have, sometimes I don't finish my, I usually do, but. Bye. How do you say well, goodbye? We have to like, you know, wrap it up. How do we wrap it up? Like, you know, like a speech, you kind of like bring it together, pull in the points. Four scores, like Donald Trump's wife, four scores seven years ago. Or... No, her speech was Michelle Obama's speech, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it for today, and I appreciate your time, and... Thank you guys for watching my video. If you would like to see more of me, you can check out all my 10 websites. <laughs> check me on LinkedIn. And use my discount code in the in the comment, in the the description box for 10% off my Ma Ma Macy's haul. The discount code is Black Sapote. Black Sapote is her discount code. Yeah. This, this light is, is be bright. All right, you guys, thanks. So I we have to go digest, and I'm actually thirsty now, see? <laughs> okay, well.
Anyways, thank you so much for watching this mukbang. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up so that we know. And comment down below any point during the mukbang, any topic we talked about, and leave your thoughts. And again, we highly recommend this recipe, don't we? I highly recommend it because I made it. Bye, my little sloths, and I'll see you tomorrow for another mukbang. May the else be ever in your favor. Goodbye. Bye. Kisses from my little baby fishies. <laughs> no, she says like, No, um, kisses from my little baby fishes. And a big kiss to Zac Efron. See y'all later. That's what Paula says, y'all. See y'all later. See you at the cardiac hospital, y'all. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go to the cardiac hospital. Ugh. Time for a nice nap. Look at my hair. Oh, you can't see. No, I can't. <laughs> you know what? You're wearing your glasses. They're over there. Yeah, rosacea right here. It's not rosacea. It's, excuse you, it's from the, the band of the hat. <laughs> rosacea. No, you get that on your cheeks. Do you have that here too? <laughs> no, I don't, do I? <laughs> It's not rosé. Am I getting rosacea? Okay, let's call this rosacea pizza. The rosacea challenge. No. <laughs> it's because I'm hot and because I don't know why. I got steamy in here when I walked in. <laughs> <laughs>